This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Last, our long national nightmare is over. We have a new spot from Rob Alfano in his studio, and it's bravo, Rob, bravo. Hey, uh, anyway, so welcome to our fine little program. We, we go until uh, midnight tonight, and uh, we, of course, uh, uh, are not going to be here tomorrow. We're going to be away on uh, a holiday. Is that, is that the way you like to put it? Yes, a long weekend. A long weekend, so that that's that's what we're gonna what we're gonna do. Okay, so a long weekend. Where tell them where we're going. We're going to Burlington, Vermont, to visit friends. Well, actually, Shelburne. Right, it's right outside of Burlington. We fly into Burlington. We fly in. Oops, oops. I don't want to do anything to screw things up here. Well, I'm sure glad uh-huh. I didn't do that. We're going. No, I no, I just I just uh, um, uh, you know I mean I'm working in such a small space here that I've got. To, let me just get these things in the right place. There we go. Anyway, so we, we have a new spot. Uh, anyway, Burlington, Vermont, Burlington, Shelburne, Vermont. Lake Shell. Is it Shel- Lake Shelburne? No, it's Lake Champlain. It's Shelburne. It's Shelburne okay. on Lake Champlain. Okay. Or is it Shelburne Bay? Maybe. No, Shelburne. Really? Yeah. No, oh, I thought there was like some kind of nautical name for it as well. Shelburne. So, Shelburne. Shelburne. Okay. So anyway, we go up there and. A nice weekend. Yeah, but but I but I have t- a trouble with it because I can't go to sleep when you go to sleep, and I can't go to sleep when they go to sleep. Well, they have two different bedrooms, you know, guest rooms. You could sleep in another guest room. There's another guest room. Yeah. I didn't know there was another guest. Yeah, room. you could sleep in that. That'd be perfect. <laughs> what do you mean that'd be perfect? <laughs> That's fine by me. What do you mean? How how come that would be perfect? <laughs> because you snore. I don't snore anymore. A little bit. You did the other night. The other. N- yeah, but remember, I used to snore every oh night. Oh my god, I still put the earplugs in though. Yeah, but uh, but I don't snore anymore. No, do but I? I still put the earplugs. Yeah, I mean, in. you're gonna snore occasionally. That's just natural. Yeah, yeah. you know. But uh, oh. mm. so I'm drinking coffee tonight, which is a bad idea because I have to get up early tomorrow to because you can't go at a reasonable hour. We're going at ten thirty. She says to me, we have to go at 10.30. Now, the plane doesn't take off till 1.30. No, 1. You know, this is what we do if you were going to Europe. You know, she says, oh, you have to be at the airport two hours before the plane takes off. No, you don't. <laughs> well, I told them to come at 10.30. You told who to come at 10.30? Our driver. Our, our driver. Mm-hmm. You like to say our driver? Mm-hmm. Yes, our driver. You know him, though, right? Yeah. So he is your driver. He's my driver. Does he take you down every morning? Every morning. Do you ever take the train? I used to, but it's a half an hour ride. It's a half an hour just to wait for the train at that hour. They don't. They don't. They don't run every two minutes. Okay. So it defeats the whole process. Yeah. Yeah. So. Of getting early so I can leave early. I yeah. mean, I go early so I can leave early. That's yeah. the trade-off. Yeah, that's good. You should look a little that way. You're, don't, you know, you don't have to look, talk directly. You can look, just turn sideways and talk to me, but do it at an angle so they can see a little bit of your face. What are you, what, what are you doing? I, what? Hi. Oh, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> I, they, all they're getting is the Ramble logo. That's all they're getting. They're not seeing they're us. They're not seeing us now. Aww. Now they can see us. Why did I? What? What's with me? I'm just so screwed up. You are. I really am. I'm not very. I'm. I, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm getting terrible at this. You're not getting terrible at this. You just forget. I'm just tired. You know. So I, I'm sorry, folks. If you know. And He's in his jammies. And then at some point tonight, uh, I'm sure the the uh, the camera will freeze. And then I'll have to unfreeze it. Thank you for putting on air. Well, now that now that I don't have the Ramble logo up, you can know, you see it? What on air? Yes, I have it set right off in the corner so that people can see it. Let me see here. I need to. Uh, I want to see what the uh, uh, if if we're on okay on Facebook. Yeah, it's gotta gotta make sure we're on okay. All right. Yeah, people, we got a lot of people, and they were all seeing like... Uh, Waiting for us to argue. 
Yeah. Ah, uh, look, 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 yeah, look, look. Yeah, they're look. doing all the little. How do they make that go? How does that happen? People just uh, on their thing. They just they but, just do it. But where do you touch? I don't. know. If you go over there, you could probably see it. No, don't don't do it. But uh, there's a little thing that says smiley faces. Uh, okay, folks, give her lots of smiley faces and oh, stuff it's like so that. Cute. See, floating yeah. across the screen, isn't that cute? Yeah, it's adorable. It's, it's fucking annoying. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, uh, so we have to go. But I, I, I'm, 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 I don't like going away. I, I, I'm getting to that point where I can, I understand. Yeah, really? Well, this last trip to, you can look at me. This yeah. last trip to Hong Kong was hard. Yeah. What are you looking up at? I'm looking at you. No, you're not looking at me. I'm not? No, you're... Look, I'm here. I'm over here. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me in the face. There <laughs> you go. <laughs> well, now you're out of frame when you did it that way. Anyway, so um, um, I, I have nothing to talk about. I really have nothing to talk about. Uh, I shouldn't even be doing a show tonight. Well, let me say goodnight then. Well, why are you going... No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, you know what I hate about traveling? If we were going somewhere like, let's say we're going to Europe. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I go through all the packing and everything like that and the trudging out to the airport and getting there early for the plane flight and everything, but you're going somewhere to stay somewhere for two weeks. You know? Right, right. We're going for, four, for three nights. M move the mic closer to you. We're going Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three nights. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, and then Monday we come back. Yeah, yeah. it's three nights. And then I have to make my appointment to get my blood drawn. Oh, here we go again. Well, I don't know when to do it exactly. Just do it. What do you mean? Just get it over with. Just do it. Oh, because then I'm going to find out I have prostate cancer. So? And, and I don't, what, so? <laughs> so? And your point is? My point is something's <laughs> going to kill me eventually. <laughs> eventually. You know something? I was thinking about it today. Let's talk about it. What's our favorite topic? Death. No, it's not our favorite topic. Trump. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, you still Dump. have it on your computer, so every time his name comes up, it's, 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 Trump. it's, it's Trump. 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 Which is the real family name. Yeah. Uh, and there was a little program that uh, uh, John Oliver made up that you put it, you put it, it's an extension to your uh, Chrome. Yeah. And every time Trump's name comes up, it says Drump. Yeah, it just automatically says Drump, and I never took it off my computer. Yeah, and if you go to, uh, like, you know, Drudge, and he's got a headline, Trump does something, it's Drump. Well, I've took, taken pictures of it, because it's not on my other stuff. Yeah. You know, and, and, and it freezes the Drump. Yeah. So anyway, but um, uh, I, I was almost going to see, I've, I've stopped saying political stuff on Facebook. And the reason I've stopped, or making any comments about anything in particular, unless it's like, hey, Damien is being burned out of his home, you know, or whatever. <laughs> um, and the reason is, is that I'm, you know, I'll say what I got to say here, okay? But uh, anytime I put anything up against Trump, I lose about 20 Facebook friends. Now, maybe I don't need them, okay? You're, you're closest and dearest. You know, my followers do go down uh, and and I you know I mean I, why should I post things there they people then just write nasty things back or some of them go oh you're wonderful because I agree with you and it serves no purpose and today I've really felt compelled to write okay I've had it you know <laughs> I've had it with this guy what do we do to get him out of here what did you he know? do today <laughs> no but I mean he today, I mean really he's today just... was a banner day for him to begin with, he tells Puerto Rico, how long do we have to keep helping you? Well, maybe until you get the job done, you fucking shithole, asshole president. He doesn't say anything about Puerto Rico. He's got four soldiers that no, were but killed. No, wait, 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 let me finish. They have four soldiers that were killed by ISIS. Nothing said. You have these major fires in California he that are out pens. so he devastating. Pens out there. He pens out there. Just look at the fires. It's so devastating. It's so sad. You know what? Nothing you know out what? of his he mouth. He pen, sends pens, but he'll go to Texas. Well, to, to get his okay. base. Or he'll go to... Uh, Carolinas or where, what's to it? Go to uh, Michigan. Well, he'll go to Houston. He'll go to where his base is. Where his base is. But he won't you know, do anything for people who aren't his base. And today, 
in the Puerto Rico situation, he said, well, how much do we have to bail you out? You know, you were bankrupt anyway. Yeah. Uh, you should have to get the money yourself. He doesn't even refer to them as American citizens, which they are. It, yes. But, I mean, come on. That was really, it's really... Oh, he's just so bad. He's such a prick face, you know. And anything else you might want to... He's turned this whole kneeling thing into a loyalty to the American flag and God and country. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. him. And, you know, the last time I lost a lot of people on Facebook was when I said, fuck the American flag and fuck the Star Spangled Banner. And, and a actually, that is my feeling. Uh, I, I don't believe in, uh, in what we call totems or, you know, the, the Bible preaches against idolatry. And what more is that than idolatry when you're, when you're you know, holding a flag in that great esteem? You know, no other country holds it in that kind of esteem. Um, and, and I find it their flag. You know, the, and, and the national anthem, I mean, why, why is a national anthem played at a baseball game? What does it have to do with baseball? It's nothing, it's just tradition. You it's know? just something that they... and it, and it's a lousy song. It's the worst song we could have picked. It's hard to sing, that's it, for sure. There were a lot of other songs that were available. America the Beautiful, beautiful, oh, song. beautiful for spacious guys for amber waves of green. Nothing in there about war or killing or bombs bursting in air, you know. And the fact was that until 1932, it was never the uh, national anthem. We didn't have a national anthem. Really? No. Uh, but there were other songs you could play, and sometimes they would play "America the Beautiful" or whatever. Uh, but uh, you know, we didn't want to, we don't want "My Country Tis of the Sweet Land of Liberty" of the I sing because it's the same song as the British. God oh, save right. God the Queen. Save the Queen. Yeah, uh, and uh, so we don't want to do that one. But you know, there are a lot of them. I suggest to I was saying to Pete Seeger once that I thought that this land is your land, this land is my land, would be a great national anthem, and he said, I'm against it. And I said, why? He says, because it's a great song, it's a beautiful song. It was written by Woody Guthrie, who's a really radical guy, and I would not want that song played when people march into war. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I, I had to kind of agree with him. Yeah. But, you know, this land is your land, this land is my land is a beautiful statement of America, mm -hmm. except if you get to the second verse. And then it talks about they stole this country from the Indians and stuff like that. There's a second verse that never gets sung. That's why. <laughs> there, is, there are, uh, by the way, there are three verses, I believe. It's three to, to the, the Star, Star Spangled, Spangled Banner. Banner. In. Yeah, and we never go to the other, we never sing the other. Once in a while you hear someone singing it. I, so, maybe, I don't know, you know. And, uh, you know, and then sometimes you get, you know, at the, uh, at the uh, what do you call it, the uh, Super Bowl, they sing it. And, you know, there's always somebody there who's going to try and outdo Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston did it the best. Nobody can really compete with I still, with it's them. a shitty song. No, but she, a shitty, shitty she song. just belted it out of the ballpark. Yeah, you know, it was a crappy song. So. It's time. No, it's not time. <laughs> We're near time. It's but, a but, it's a week but day. No, I just I just got so disheartened today by that, and there was other. Oh, yeah, he's trying to gut Obamacare without having a vote. Being oh, he taken. did it. He did an executive order. Yeah, this this allows uh, states to go over uh, insurance companies to go over states' lines. They can also have no, but for for, for group policies. For group policies. Yeah. In other words, you and I can't do it to go buy some insurance. Right. Uh, but that may be, you know, the courts may find that in, uh, it, it contravenes a lot of other laws that we already have. The court's in his favor. They, everybody says that they think he's going to get reelected. <laughs> I don't think he's going to live that long. I hope not. <laughs> I think he's going to drop dead, and quite frankly, I'm hoping he does. I hope he does, too. Does that sound terrible, folks? Hey, you know, I, I may drop dead at any minute, so, you know, what the hell. But I would love to be live long enough to see him go before me, okay? <laughs> and with that fat ass and that fat stomach and all of that, he doesn't look healthy at all. And his all. little hands and fingers. Little hands, his little itty-bitty penis. <laughs> You know, I mean, uh, I don't think he. I don't think he's going to be well enough to run for another. 
they think that he's got some type of dementia. I mean, the, the, he is like he goes back and forth. I mean, he is his his personality changes like night and day. Well, but he then, has the kind of personality that if you have it in a business, it's no big deal because you'll maybe you'll lose the business if you fuck up like that. But here, if you fuck up like that, it's the we, country. we all go down with you. Yeah. And there are people who are seriously questioning his mental health right oh, now. Oh, a lot of people. And that it's it's not in supposedly very good shape. Yeah. And then he wants to uh, go after the um, broadcasting organizations uh, who have fake news. Fake news, by the way, definition of fake news is any news that doesn't honor him, Donald Trump. Yeah. Right. Anything else is fake news. And he says he wants he wants an investigation into this, and for the FCC, who by the way is on his side because he's appointing all the people that are on sure. the FCC to go after the licenses of say NBC. They don't have licenses. Well, no, they have licenses for TV stations they own around the country. Okay, um, uh, but. It, 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 the thing is, they don't. I don't think NBC owns any radio stations anymore. If they do, I'm not aware of it. Well, he okay. was talking about television. I television, think. they own a handful of television stations. But so you take away their licenses, big deal. Over the air broadcasting isn't a big money maker anymore. They just keep doing their TV stations on the cable. Yeah. All right. So they wouldn't have an over-the-air mm. signal, but they'd have it'd be you know local NBC on cable, all right? Uh, and they probably make just as much money as they make now because most homes in America either have cable or satellite delivery or or something of that nature. Right. You don't need cable. So you know this threat: we're going to take away your licenses is no big threat. And so far as taking away a license of a network to be a network is impossible because there is no licensing of the networks. Now, here's how they can sometimes get in trouble. If you have NBC, but NBC as a network really is basically a bunch of entertainment shows. Mm -hmm. Really not a lot of news. And what news they do do, I don't think could be considered by, uh, by Trump uh, as being fake news. He's talking about MSNBC. Okay, right. and he's talking so about he's, yeah. not, he's not talking about the networks and the networks. However, they could try and find them or something uh, whenever they want to, but they could find them for each station that this goes out over. But it, 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 the news he's complaining about isn't the nightly news on NBC, okay, or Meet the Press, basically. Well, it's reported back, but they didn't break the story. Yeah, right. So you know, I mean, I just, I just find it, uh, uh, I find it horrible what he's, uh, what he's done and what he's doing and, and what he's continuing. And today to do. was very disheartening all the way around between that and uh, I think he's going after the NFL again. Yeah. You know, and I mean, uh, to begin with, the TV stations and the TV networks don't matter as an issue, and the NFL doesn't matter as an issue, but Puerto Rico does. And the hurricanes do, and the, and the fires out in California, which, in case you haven't paid attention, it's not. It, it, Damien is lucky because his storage facility where he lives got surrounded by the fire, but it didn't burn down. Wow. The, you know that McDonald's they show that's burned down? That's across the street from where wow. he was. Wow. Okay. But it, the fires continue to rage, and Literally, literally, uh, most of Napa is gone. Yeah, that's so and, sad. And a lot of the grape vineyards were saved. Yeah. But because of the smoke, they have to. It may ruin some of the, the grapes, grapes some for of the this grapes. season. Which means, if you want a bottle of wine, stock up now. Stock up now. <laughs> Or buy your, stock up now. Or buy it from Italy. <laughs> yeah, you know, or buy it from Europe because it's going to be very expensive yeah. here going to be very expensive here. I got to tell you, there's something always very nice. I, I, I never took you there at that time of year. But there's a certain couple of weeks when the grapes are being harvested and when they're at their full ripeness. 
And at night, I had a convertible, and I took the top down. Smell? And I would drive through Napa, and you could smell the grapes. Wow. You, there was just this air of just... Fragrant. You know, which reminded me, when I grew up in, uh, in North Beach, that, which was an Italian neighborhood, every home had a wine vat in the cellar. <laughs> and you would go down to the cellar, and it was that same smell. Yeah. Because, you know, the, the wine vat would get that resiny smell of the of the wine yeah so but anyway uh, I feel terrible for those people up in up in Napa oh. I feel terrible for the people in Southern California and apparently the president does it yeah he sent out Pence he didn't want yeah. to come to California because he California doesn't like Donald Trump well they also don't like Harvey Weinstein so, <laughs> so and, and, and both like to touch women's pussies without their permission <laughs> you know um, how come Harvey's getting in all this trouble and Trump n never has for his comments? I mean, they were basically, he was saying the same thing. Hey, when you're famous, you can do anything. No, but he exposed himself. and I mean, he would come out of a room just stark naked in front of these ladies. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, well, I, I don't know, you know. I don't understand Harvey Weinstein. Because if you've seen Harvey Weinstein, uh, he's pretty much a car wreck. He's ugly. He's ugly. He's yeah. a car wreck. And he's fat and he's whatever. And he's got money. And so if I look like that, I think I'd keep my bathrobe on. He has money and power. And that says a lot, especially in L.A. Yeah. Well, he had power. Yeah. He has, has less power now. I think my feeling is the reason why Harvey is being put upon by everybody right now. Well, nobody's coming Bob? to his defense. Because of Bob? Well, no, no, Bob's the reason this is all happening. Right. Okay, he's a, they say he's the guy who went to the New York Times and gave him all the scoop, okay? And by the way, last night we were trying to, I was trying to tell Phil that it was uh, the New York Times that broke the story, and he said, no, it was some magazine. Well, the magazine was Ronan Farrow's article in New, New Yorker, in the New Yorker, or New York Magazine? New, New Yorker. Or was the New Yorker? In the New Yorker. But that was many days after, yeah, after. the story was broken by the New York Times. Uh, and uh, But what I'm saying is the reason why I think all these people are piling on Bob, uh, not Bob, Harvey Weinstein, is that he probably was so disliked that it's like, you know, like the pet you treat horribly and one day he notices you're sleeping and he jumps on you and pees on you or does whatever he's going to do on you because you're now vulnerable and i think it's there are people who go he has no power now fuck him well it's like what happened with wiener nobody came up to his defense well, that was different because there were people in congress who didn't like him but i'm saying on both sides of the aisle no one came up to well his because defense. he was he was a renegade yeah you know uh, a good one but a renegade nonetheless but nobody came to his defense That's when right. all this happened. Right. Uh, if, if Harvey Weinstein were a nicer guy, I think there'd be more people coming to his defense and saying, hey, he's been good to us. Let's, uh, let's give him a, not a pass, but let's let him seek help. You know? <laughs> and they would be very nice about it. But they, they want to they see this guy never come back yeah. again. His wife is divorcing him. His wife is divorcing him. And uh, boy, my nose is itchy tonight. Uh, itchy, itchy, nosy, nosy. Uh, time. What? Time. No, it's not time yet. You got, you got a whole uh, minute and a half. Well, I can roll over. No, you can't roll over. <laughs> um, you know. It's Friday. You look like it's you're, Friday. It looks like you're wearing underpants. No, it's not Friday. I'm wearing shorts. It's mm -hmm. my Friday because I'm not going to work tomorrow. Yeah. So it's Friday. It's Friday. Ba 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 ba. It's Friday. Friday. Okay. Uh, you figure by singing you're going to be spending the, in the last minute that we have left? I'm rolling over. She's rolling She's over, rolling folks. Over. She's rolling over. Here, Here she, she comes. comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. Okay, well, I'll, 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 I'll open up the uh, the uh, Skype lines. Wait a minute. I have to do a couple of things here I forgot to do. There we go. i got to get rid of that. There we go. Oh, okay, no, 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 but it just, it just no, hold on. Go. Let me, let me. I have, to, I have, I have things. You know, I'm, I'm not only doing a show. I'm also operating a show. I know. You sell the wigs. I wear one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like them so much. I bought the company. <laughs> 
Uh, but anyway, our lines are now open. Our Skype lines. Who's that? So if you want to call, I don't know who that is. It, it's always a picture that oh. I've had there. It says how to make free voice and video calls, and it's a video that you can play and this is on Brian Skype. Brian, that's on everyone. Huh? Brian. I don't. I have no idea. It's not our Brian. I, I have is it? no idea. It's not our Brian. No, I have no idea what any of those things are. And then there's a song there, like what song they like. And I guess Brian S. Paskin, whoever that is. Oh, there's a Herman Campbell up there. Here comes Rob. Here, Well, uh, first of all, I have to say to Rob Alfano, which is... Look uh, at uh, his uh, setup. Yeah, look at that studio. Wow. Now. Yeah, I have to say to Rob Alfano, congratulations to your New York Yankees. Yes, they pulled it out of their ass. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. You know something? Else? You're you're way you're way off tonight. You you're, he's you're way like off. he's uh, look at him. He doesn't have. Uh, w but maybe when we start having other people, uh, it, he isn't in sync. <laughs> you see, see, don't know why. I'm. Oh, oh there, oh, there. Now it's better. Now? now that somebody else is in here, it's it's you're more in sync. Hmm. Now that we have Tim. Is that Tim? Anyway, did you hear? I played your spot tonight. At the last minute, great. I got it at the last minute. Yeah. I just dropped it in. <laughs> I did hear it. The, I just had this idea all of a sudden, reasons. Yeah. And so there's going to be a whole series of reasons. Oh, yeah. okay. And uh, uh, and uh, so, so you have reasons. This one's celebrities reasons. Yep. And, uh, uh, and the next one, I guess, will be, I don't know, who knows? Don't know yet. But, like I said, that that just hit me all of a sudden. I was playing with stuff in here. It's still not a hundred percent, but I'm getting there. Can we see some of it? You no, know, we're seeing it. Well, I would see maybe it. a little tour. And the room is just a, a god awful mess. I got all this stuff set up here. Wow. Look at the back. Look yeah. at look at look at the floor. There's all just right. it's, stuff it's, every it's which way. I mean, it is a love, mess. Do you love the house? Which, yeah, I do. I do love the house. Yeah. I got records to put up on the wall. Oh, well, look oh. at the records. Okay, that's good. <laughs> what are you doing with gold records? Uh, you, get, oh, you get them if I, you... Were you a DJ? Yeah. yeah, but I didn't get them from being a DJ. Wait, I got them on them eBay. From... You got them on eBay? eBay. <laughs> <laughs> are they any special songs? Um, One is an Anita, Anita Baker tr uh, platinum album. There's Elton John's Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Um, there's, uh, well, these are know. the there's only, a, like, a one of a stuff. kind, right? Huh? Did they, it's just the one of a kind. You're talking yeah, about well, money. they're not one, one of a kind. They're, they're given out to, I guess, anybody who, um, pays participate <laughs> in, in, uh, helping them get these records. Well, you get these RIAA, uh, awards, and it's like you played the record and you helped make it a hit, so they give you that. They as give a, you a gold record. They give you a kind of a gold record. What does yeah. something like that go for on bidding on eBay? Oh, Jesus. They, I got them. They're 20 years old. I didn't just buy them. I don't remember what I paid. That's a long great, time though. Ago. Put them up so we could see them. That'll be terrific. Now you're in perfect sync, by the way. Yeah. As soon as we got other people on, you're in perfect sync. This well, I this uh, I finally got the the network working in here. The guy from uh, the wiring company came this morning, mm -hmm. figured out that he crimped a wire wrong. Ah. So I had to update this computer. It had been offline for so long. Yeah. And there, there's a, apparently there's a new version of Skype that's out now. And every time I launch Skype, it tells me no, don't use it. Don't don't use it. What it does is it launches Skype into your browser. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Ass. You don't want to do that. You I don't. figured that out. Yeah, but and if you do it, I think you can undo it. But uh, I haven't uh, removed the old Skype. But I have a feeling we're going to get to a point where we're going to have no choice. Well, no, yeah. but then I won't be able to do a show because I tried using that browser version, and uh, I couldn't do a show. There's no, there's no settings. That's right. You know, but the, I, I couldn't. I wasn't getting the same. I couldn't uh, get my. Uh, my uh, uh, program that does the video to isolate just the Skype screen or the browser screen. Oh, uh, wow. yeah. So that that was the problem. So I I, I did switch yeah. to it well, and I, I did try it. They're and, going that way, and then it, and it's time. it didn't work. It, you're out something else. I don't think. Uh, 
I don't think they are. I think they'll keep. I, I, I think they'll keep both versions of it. I think they created the browser version to be an easy version for for the most companies, people. Companies. No, for most people to do. Every time I launch it now, it tells me, "Do you want to try the new one or <laughs> go with the old one?" Well, you just say, "I, I don't want to," and Stop I think there's me. a check mark or something, maybe don't where it, "Don't ask this uh, question yeah. again" or "Be the fuck alone" check mark. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, the leave me the fuck alone check mark. Yeah. So. The don't tread on tra tread on me check mark. I don't want to change. Yeah. yeah. Well, then you got to sing the national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to take a knee. Yeah. Yeah. Take yeah. Mammy. You take a knee, and then they come out with a ball peen hammer. <laughs> They'll help me. <laughs> Jeez, I, I, I'm having yeah. trouble with see again tonight with this machine back here. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, would you go over there and put in my password, what please, password? and type it because the is guy... The for, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. You, you know what it is. Password. Uh, 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 password. <laughs> the show is to look is? like a microphone commercial. Yeah, uh, because uh, the guy before us uh, did something that screwed it up. So what's happening? There we go. Now we're fine. Tim, you can see us when you're on the phone? I'm watching on Facebook, so it's oh. it's really disorienting because of the timeline. It, it, is, I'm going to be a time traveler. Yeah. I'm like a time traveler. Is the picture on Facebook pretty steady for you tonight? It is. I've had a lot of problems over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, well, I've had but troubles uh, I've had troubles here on Chrome on this machine, but then I used it on uh, Mar Marjorie's machine, and it, it never stopped, and it was fine, and it was terrific. In fact, bring it up over there on your on your Skype what am I machine. Bringing up? You're bringing up uh, fa my Facebook page, and uh, just put the video up, and you you'll see it runs fine on on there. It's just something over here, but now it seems to be okay. So I'll I'll try and survive. I, I think it's just a warning from the execs at Facebook. This is what Facebook would be like all the time if we start to regulate them. Yeah, yeah. I know it looks fine. It looks always looks fine on yours. It's mine that's the problem, you know. So anyway, uh, uh, so uh, so anyway, uh, uh, Rob uh, has his studio now, and uh, thank God uh, you won't have to hear the same promos over and over and over and over. I swear to you. Is it good? You should pick up some of the really old ones in the meantime. There was some creative stuff back in the day, like the first ones, which you could still run. Yeah, but I, I don't. I, uh, uh, were they generic enough? Because I yeah, think didn't they the mention like uh, mention things like uh, you know, uh, the what was the name Jim Browning show. No, the EBS test doesn't mention any show. In fact, that's really? the one that has the 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 famous comment by um, uh, Patrick. Where you you know you're you're crushing my brain or whatever the hell he said. Oh yeah, I'm, maybe I'll go back and look at some of those old ones. Uh, you know, <laughs> not uh, you know that, that that's one of the generics. Don't let that be an excuse for you not to not to have fun and create. You know. Oh yeah, but it's, it's going to take me some time. Right. Uh, you know, uh, but in the meantime, rather than what we're playing now, yeah. some of the older older ones like the EBS test would be better. Uh, then there are the ones that, you know, do mention the different shows, which you can't play, obviously. It would make no sense to do that. Um, yeah. But I, if, if I have to hear the history of talk radio one more time, I'm going to put a bullet <laughs> in my head. Really? You'd have to put a bullet in your head if you heard that one more time? Uh, that one just... Uh, it would drive, one, it, it would drive you crazy, that, huh? It hmm. beats me down. Me oh, then you, you like my radio. promo. Take a drink. Political opinions have been a staple of radio since the early 1920s. Talk radio as a listener. Party. Need a gun? <laughs> if my gun was loaded. Actually, I happen, that happens to be the most generic spot we have. You know, because it doesn't talk about any of the hosts or whatever. It just talks about the history of talk radio and, and what, we, what we do here at, uh, at Gabnet. Yeah, but that's true. But then there's always, where is it here? I, I went through some stuff here because now that the computer's back on, I have access to all the things that I've ever done. Yeah. yeah. Like, remember this one? Wait a minute. Well, I don't hear it. Not playing. We're not hearing oh, it. Not coming through, huh? No. No. 
Oh, so that means I have see that still means that something's not set up right here. Yeah. I wonder what that could be. Yeah. Now I'll be driving you nuts for the rest of the show. Sending it through the board. Uh, USB audio codec. The microphone. It says microphone. I wonder if. Uh, uh, I have no idea. See. Yeah. Look at too high definition. Well, you're probably using the. Now, now we can't hear you. He's not talking. Yeah, everything about, should be, uh, now everything, we can now, hear you. Yeah. Everything should be sent through the uh, codec, the USB codec. Oh God! Here we go. Phil with his technical. I have the same board, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I got rid of mine because I didn't like going through the USB. I tried the USB and then it it literally fried itself. You returned it. Didn't yeah, you? I returned oh, it. I don't I'm sell. I'm selling my guitars, and with it, I'm buying this gorgeous Arrakis radio board. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm getting rid of this thing here. This See, I, I would never get rid of what I got here because it works so well. And it fits just right, you know. We, what drives me crazy about this is that there are way more buttons than I'm used to on a mixer. I'm used to program and audition. <laughs> and I know how to use a radio board. But all of this where you got buttons oh, that, here. That, that bullshit I never use. You That's mean, what I'm the saying. I've never in worked in the aux out studio. and all of those things, yeah. I never so use all of that. The shit out of me. And that's why I'm going to get the, the radio board that has... On the back of it, it's got the same USB control connector, mm -hmm. so that you can record directly to the computer and stuff. But it'll it'll be regular program and audition, and it'll be a regular radio regular, board. Regular radio yeah. board. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what these subgroup things are for. No yeah. clue. No. Yeah, no. I I've never use them. And I, and see, I for some reason right now, like I am going through the board here. Uh, well, you can hear me, but why can't you hear anything that... See, that's the problem with this mix minus thing wherever. I have no idea why it's you, not... You know what the uh, problem... What the problem is that most of these companies, when they make these boards, and when we're talking about this, folks, we should let you know that what we're talking about is... Uh, yeah, this is what we're talking we're, about. We're, we're, we're talking oh, about wow, that if you've got that, TV. Wow. That, that's a board. That's a super okay. board. Now, mine's, mine's much, mine's much, uh, oh, mine's bigger than yours. Two kids brighten it out. Yeah. <laughs> but here, there are buttons here which screwed me up for a couple of days. These two red ones yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, they say 2TR forward slash USB. And I was like, I hear, but I, I, I'm hearing things come through the board, but the VU meters aren't moving, and I couldn't record anything, and so I just start hitting buttons to until I get it right. And I obviously, uh, I didn't get the one right to be able to. I got the the this coming through. This is the computer coming through here. Well, let me ask you a question. See here, I uh, I just got one with like about six inputs. Okay. Uh, and I don't even need six inputs. I only use two of the six inputs ever. Mm. Okay. How many do you use out of those? You have like, looks like well, you have 12. Well, remember, I got this stuff over here, right? So yeah. those are the two mini disc players. Yeah. Right above it there are two remote controlled okay. CD players, right. which have the, the uh, remote control starts right here. And so there's four inputs that are right here. The problem is I don't have enough inputs. This is mini disc two, mini disc one, CD two, CD one, and I could use a stereo. This the, the computer is coming through a mono because I don't have enough stereo inputs on this board. So it's another reason why I want to get rid of it. Wow. Well I'm you know me, I just I all I really need for doing this show is my microphone, her microphone, you guys, and then the stuff from the other computer. So I only yeah. use like four of them. And with I just that, see I'm saying good night. And with that, she's getting bored. I'm so saying good night. We'll let, her, mm. we'll let, her, good night guys. let her say good night. Bye. I yeah. love good those time. boards. Yeah. Your, your, your vacation. Uh huh? Well, well, they're having a good time on, her vaca on your vacation. Yeah, well, it, it's not a vacation. She, she, what do you call it? A holiday? It's a holiday. A holiday. It's a long weekend. It's a long weekend. Here oh, comes and, my and, big and there, and there, of course, is your digital cat. Yeah. Is that the oh, is, is that the older one? Whoops! Oh, oh, real, real, real live. Yes. Oh. He's the baby. 
look and i can see you can i can see that we are going out okay where you are so yeah. no well this is uh this is us this yeah. is skype i know oh that's yeah. skype okay all right oh that, that's interesting you know because on my skype i'm in a little square and on your skype it's a bigger picture just well, like everybody you're on a little thing. square because you don't you're not using uh this is windows. you know you're because your your camera is uh is always the minor camera it right, would right. be mine. Yeah. In fact, and this is Windows. It's a better I, I, in version fact, of Skype. On, on this, I keep my my mine. If people always look down at the bottom. Sometimes they'll see this, but I can bring me up again. But I don't need that because I've got me over here, you know, coming through. So, anyway, mm. whatever. What's nice is that uh, you know is that uh, uh, you're back in uh, you're back uh, in in action again, which is really good. Yeah, at least I can do production. I still can't do this stuff here. And, like, and yeah, and what but, and and what audio program do you use? You use uh, Oh, Freebie Audacity. Audacity, and I had to upgrade it tonight. Yeah, I use uh, I I use uh, uh, what do you call uh, it? Adobe, Adobe uh, Audition. Audition, yeah. I tried using Audition. Yeah, I like it. Well, I like it because you can really do it. Like with your. Uh, when you did uh, the voice for that, uh, here's what the shows are and everything. I do mm -hmm. different layers and put music on one layer and the, the yeah, people audacity does other. exactly the same thing. I mean, uh, I you know I cut my tracks, you know my voice tracks like yeah. I did for that little promo, and then I took the the sound from uh, your show with with Penn Gillette. And I put that on its own track, and I slide them around till I get them where I want. And then I put the music but, on the but, bottom. But you, you know the thing. I got to tell people this. Uh, the thing is that you and I use our audio boards for a certain reason, and that's doing radio stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, most of these boards have been created for people to do music, and that's, that's why, why they have all those aux ins and the aux outs and all of that. You know, when all we really need is I need an input for my microphone, I need an input for you guys, and I need an input for uh, the other machine here, and then we're all happy and, you know. Well, your favorite thing, the aux in, uh, uh, aux out, is for the mix minus in, on my board. Yeah. And I'm using separate sound you know, cards. Don't, don't, so use, you know, don't use terms unless you're going to explain them, because we have an audience out there who doesn't know what the fuck you're talking well, about. Well, what it is... Is you can you have a uh, a mic uh, a input that you can channel into your into your microphone and you can turn off uh, the Skype so that it doesn't um, okay. what, what would it call it uh, it doesn't feed back on itself right well, uh, that's the mix minus right it's mix minus yeah. yourself so you're sending audio to like if you're talking to somebody, right? Use mix minus in the news, right? Right. So you can hear everything, but it doesn't feed them back into themselves. Yeah. Mix exactly. minus. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter because Skype has its own mix minus. So it, it yeah. does, and that's if, if it, 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 I was able to, I I know with the when I was on my laptop the last few nights before I got this computer working, I was I tested the Skype call testing call, mm -hmm, and I. Yeah my mic and it worked and then i tested an input by playing something back and it worked too oh here's a well i don't have one handy but forget it i was going to test one of the mini disc players to see if that comes through because i think i'm having a problem with the computer's input but who knows yeah well not if it isn't one thing it's another hello patrick hola is the normal hola and tim's with us too problems. tim what Everybody's got problems, but you know those people in Northern California, they got problems. No, they got problems. They got big, big, big time, big time. You know, and, and talking about uh, computers and 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 data, you know, I, I was thinking I'm working on having some off-site storage for my photos uh, and uh, having a backup drive that I stick somewhere else, maybe bring to work once a month and uh, and back things up uh, if. If I was in that firestorm up in uh, uh, Calistoga, in that area, you know, uh, uh, Ronard Park, uh, those people lost everything. 
there's you know there's thousands of homes and people that uh, like me kept saying, well, I think I'll do I'll I'll get a backup system in another month or two, you know, or I'll I'll back this stuff up soon. And soon, uh, obviously, didn't ever come for these guys. Well, uh, I, because, you, you know, know, I mean, uh, the, the well, the thing is, if you were to have backed up all your stuff on a cloud drive, let's say, yeah, uh, uh, then you would, of course, it'd be safe. You'd be able to download it again. Um, the only thing that I really save uh, to the cloud is my main program here for the, right. you know, and none of the other stuff. Uh, oh. Because I got way, I got cloud? way I got way too much stuff. I got way too much stuff. To I, I mean, uh, save... are you using the um, uh, the uh, Apple Cloud, or are you using? I, I use the uh, Apple I... Cloud uh, for about eighty gigabytes of stuff, which is like my main desktop, and that's yeah. about it. You know, but I I you know I've got a Google Cloud, and I've got uh, this cloud and that cloud for free. Uh, Isn't the Amazon Unlimited? The Amazon? No. Amazon Cloud. Or the Prime? No. no. Free. It's free, yeah. It's, it's free. free, but that's a terabyte. You're not getting oh, a it, well, it, it, Is there, on Amazon, do you get a, is there a cloud on Amazon? Yeah, yeah. Prime, yeah. Oh, Amazon Prime, yeah. You get yes, the, okay. you do. Oh, it's only one terabyte. Think about well, it. You get one from Mac, you get the, the iCloud, right? That's yeah. A free terabyte, don't you? Yeah. Uh, I, no, it's not that much. Uh, I'm paying an extra 99 cents a month right now, and I'm going to have to upgrade. We all are. They're the <laughs> only ones who don't give you a free terabyte because with Microsoft, you get it. With um, OneDrive, I mean, with uh, one uh, Dropbox, you get it. Um, there's all these f free ones out there. Yeah, well, Dropbox. I mean, you don't you don't get a lot. I mean, uh, with uh, with Apple for 3.99 a month, I get 200 gigabytes. You know. And if I want to go up to two terabytes, it's nine ninety nine. All right. And then if you want, uh, if you want to use uh, uh, Google, uh, I think you get so many free, but it's not a lot. And then if you want to, if you want more, you pay for that. In other words, you, you're, you know, you're, you're buying drives, you're buying space on somebody else's drive. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. And there, there are companies that will send you a hard drive. You back your stuff up to it, and then you send it back to them, and they download it into their uh, big system. I don't and like that idea. I, I mean, don't like that idea either. Uh, that, well, it's, it's, a, it's a way of backing up your stuff off-site. Yeah, but... Uh, but a cloud is just as good. And, I mean, if there's a fire, you, you know, the only, the only re way you're not going to be able to get it is because you don't have an Internet line where you are, but if you go somewhere else, you can go anywhere on the planet and, and get on the, and that cloud and get your stuff. Do they ship it back to you like every month so you can redo your backup? Yeah. 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 That's, so, that's, yeah. A, that's a skeezy. Because, you know, it's for uh, much more data. You know something? I've got, I've, I've got such fast speed here on my Internet that if I want to back up my stuff to a drive, uh, I mean to a cloud, uh, mm -hmm. I could probably back up my whole computer in a lot, a fairly fast amount of time. Yeah. You know, so, uh, you know, but I have, I have so much stuff here that there's no way there's a, a, I, I, the storage would cost me a hundred dollars a month. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, fuck it. But, I just, uh, when I'll, you look, when you look at what happened to, you know, a couple of thousand homes, you know, that there was a number of people that yeah, had data that yeah, they lost forever. But you know something? Forever. You know something? The question is, how much is it worth to you to spend that kind of money to back up your computer? I mean, if you've got a small computer like yours, Phil, I don't think would cost that much to back up everything on your computer. Well, now I've got the Drobo, and even though I, I only uh, have I don't give a shit about your Drobo. I'm telling you right now, I've got right now uh, one... This is in the computer itself, four hard drives of four terabytes each. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six externals that range mostly or most of them are four uh, terabytes. And then I've got four network drives. So think uh -huh. of backing up all that shit. Uh, there just isn't enough space, yeah. you know? Yeah, well, uh, my Drobo has enough space for me to use for the next nine years. 
Uh, I've got f four, five, eight terabyte drives. Yeah. Uh, and I've got a four terabyte. But you're never going to uh, use all West that. You're, ne you're never going to use all that. Oh, well, Mike, the new camera I just got has uh, 45.7 megapixels. So it puts together some pretty big no, But files. you're still not going to use. F no, I'm hoping I, I you're, you're, don't, you're talking about what, 40 terabytes? Uh, 62, I think. Uh, oh, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then there's an accelerator, an SSD accelerator in it, too. Um, I don't that, know why that, you're getting that. I don't think you need it. Well, you know who we need? What? We Trump. need to have George Carlin come back and do his comedy routine about stuff. Yeah, about stuff. Remember the, you're just getting it because it's stuff. And all the stuff he would no longer take with him. And the truth of the matter is that, uh, and this is no not being detrimental to you, Rob, but Rob doesn't really need uh, doesn't need that new board. He could get along very nicely with the board he has, but it's stuff. Nobody needs right. stuff. We just want it. Yeah. yeah. Right now we got all this electronic stuff dead in a store. What, what do you do with it? And well, that's crazy. what we're talking about. And, you know. and all the new stuff is coming out, keeps coming out every year. It's new stuff coming out. You know why I feel... All, all you need is a toothbrush and a beer. <laughs> you know why I feel good about getting the new board? Because I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff to get one thing. So I'm 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 net net less stuff. Less stuff, yeah. And also the two thousand dollars less that uh the <laughs> time I sell that one guitar will be near that. If I had yeah. the money, if I had the money, I don't know what I would buy for the studio. I don't think there's anything I would buy that I don't have here already. I can't think of anything. I, I like that uh, pro, pro pro sonic or pro pro something. Uh, I looked at uh, that. Sixteen something. I, I, I thought that uh, was a terrible board. But instead of being analog, it's digital. Yeah, but a terrible board. Really? Yeah, t more than more than more than you need. You know, I mean, you're scaring a lot of people away. I'd love to get people out there to start doing shows for Gabnet. Uh, I'd like to start taking on more shows, more people doing shows, and you're talking here about you know. Twenty-five hundred dollar boards and all of that. When all they need to do is they can have a board that costs them under a hundred dollars. Yeah, you and, don't need it. And and uh, and eBay. and a decent and a decent line. Come uh, come you know for your uh, you know bandwidth uh, say a hundred megabytes per second, and you're good to go. You know, I mean, you know, most people don't need more than that. Yeah, and they can do a good. This is a hobby show. for me. Yeah, it's a hobby. It's That's a all. hobby. Yeah, it's you know I don't need it. I don't use the guitars anymore. I've got two brand. I got a brand new uh, American Stratocaster. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, a Gibson E, e uh, a J one eighty five E C gorgeous custom guitar made handmade from Gibson Montana. Um, God, I wish I, 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 God, I wish I were still making fuck you money. God damn, it's that. <laughs> you know, Steven Seagal has three hundred guitars. Yeah, but, the, he's, but the, uh, the negative but, on that is he he's, collects, Steve, he he's, he's Steven Seagal. Right, but he, he collects them that, you know, like Jimi Hendrix's guitar and, uh, and you know. A lot of money in that. Yeah, yeah, he's got it. You know, guitars, it's amazing. If you, if you could find certain year guitars, 1957 Telecaster or Stratocaster or whatever, man, they, they go for, you know, 60, 20, 30 years. Yeah, for a guitar that cost eighty nine dollars, a hundred dollars new, back in the in the fifties. And if it was owned by somebody or signed by somebody, that you know, then it, it's yeah. off the hook. Yeah. But I, I just I did it back in the early two thousands, and they've been sitting in the closet now for the past five years. I, I you remember. know how to play? I used to know how to play, but since I my wife's been here, I haven't picked up the guitars once. Almost four. Yeah, our fourth anniversary is, or our fourth anniversary of her moving here happened in September. So, so, so let me ask you this: Since you don't play them, why do you buy them? Well, I used to play them. Yeah, I don't anymore, and that's why I want to sell. I'll keep one, but I, I you know, I, uh, you know, just a regular, like a uh, Yamaha. That's exactly what I have in, in the living room, and uh, most of the time it's got something hanging on it, uh, you know, <laughs> a Yamaha six-string acoustic. I have this, uh, I have this uh, Israeli brand called a Yamaka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
There's 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 Tony. Yeah. Hello, Tony. Good evening. Yeah. How you doing? Pretty good. I got to show something for Rob. I found. Him. I know he's a big Yankee fan. I mean to interrupt your conversation, I think. But Alex, you're gonna laugh. I saved my World Series ticket for ninety-eight, forty dollars bleachers. Wow. Now it's probably cost like three hundred bucks to get in. Look at that. <laughs> so you were there. You know, and all the all I've never been to a playoff or a World Series game, and I had season tickets. If I had a mini plan at the time, so I had two tickets. I had. A I, I, I was at a playoff game, sixty nine Mets in uh, Shea Stadium, and right behind the uh, catcher, and uh, then the only other one was uh, the uh, eighty nine uh, 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 Giants game in San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, that's the the athletics one, right? When they played the yeah, yeah. I went to game three, and then uh, I uh, when that got canceled, I went to uh, the 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 game that they replaced it with. That's the earthquake year. Yeah, that was the earthquake game. Yeah, I was working in sports. We had the only live feed coming out of the ballpark. Yeah, and, uh, oh. we were we were on the air, and we were getting offers from all of the networks. So we we actually came off the air went back to programming and we sold the time to CNN, NBC, ABC until they could get set up. We just happened to be there because I was working in a sports show and yeah. we feed coming from the ballpark. Rob, Rob, turn your volume down just a little bit on your mic. It's a, just a little bit of distortion. There. There, there, was, there was no electricity at the park. Uh, that's uh, that's they had no they didn't have any lights and then uh, you know we thought that uh, I, you know maybe they're still going to play the game. Nobody knew how bad it was when we were sitting at the park. Uh, here's, and, here's a little bit of baseball trivia for you. Yeah. Tell me a team that never played night games. The oh, 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 until uh, recently, the Cubs it, used to play night. What was it? Boston. Uh, somebody just said it. Who, who said Cubs. The, the Cubs. Cubs. You're absolutely right, Tony. Uh, yeah. I know I, that because I worked in Chicago. And you I worked. Did. I worked in the Wrigley Building. And every night when you'd come up to the Wrigley Building, it was all lit up. And the the rumor had it was the reason there weren't any uh, night games at the Cubs uh, was because Wrigley didn't put the lights in out there. He instead put them in to light the Wrigley building. Really? And so oh, they never wow. got lights till just a few years ago, I think. And so they always had to play day games. Didn't they just get a new stadium? Here's some follow. No, they re did, did a lot of work on Wrigley. They would never close Wrigley. That's like closing Fenway. Oh. Yeah, oh, really looks cool. They did the uh, White Sox. Who who uh, who played the first night game against the Cubs? Oh, oh uh, 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 I can't go that far in my trivia, but uh, well, is anybody know? I remember it, but I don't remember. Um, <laughs> the, the Mets. The, 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 what? The yeah. Mets. The Mets. That was my, my, my guess. Really. Well, yeah. what did they do in the old days when the sun went down and the game was still going on? I guess they just called it till the next day, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. Yeah, but supposedly the, the rumor was the lights had been delivered to the Wrigley building instead of the uh, Cubs stadium. And uh, Wrigley decided it would be too expensive to light both of them. So he, he just never did. It looks like a nice park. I mean, Bill Murray goes to like they show him. He's like at every game. So I think he's a real fan. I would imagine it's, it's a great ballpark. It, it really looks. My brother went once. He said, "He said you got to see if it's real." It, it, it's you a it's T and T. The the park out here in San Francisco. Oh, I like your park. It is, it's park. just gorgeous. Yeah, and I went. We the it setting. Nice. But uh, you're talking about it used to be Pac Bell, all that that well, one. I saw the new one. Out. I felt they there was one thing wrong though with that park. It, the park is beautiful because it looks right out on the bay. You're yeah, sitting nice. there, it's and the nice. bay and every seat you got a view. The bay is behind you. In fact, they have McCovey Cove. They got the boats yeah. where 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 people are out there in boats waiting for balls that go over the uh, wall, yeah, yeah. things yeah. like that. You know. Uh, and I always thought it was just really beautiful, but I said, you know, they missed a great bet. And they said, what? I said, well, look, here you got the, uh, you've got the, uh, the bay out there, and it's right on the bay. So they mm -hmm. should have made it so that during a game, you could detach the ballpark from the landmass and float <laughs> it out into the middle of the bay and play your baseball game. That would have been cool. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be neat. That yeah. would be neat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, isn't that against the rules? <laughs> well, you know, it's kind of hard to stand for the national anthem when the boat is moving. You know, it's, it's, uh... or when you're uh, uh, up to your knees in water. Yeah, yeah. Or get seasick. What'd you say, Matt? Mike? At least Trump's not starting a fight with baseball. Uh, Mike, what? Or us, or us, or us getting seasick. He's going out to bay getting seasick. Yeah. One or two. Didn't uh, didn't didn't Trump have a football game a team or try to get into a football team yeah, and they wouldn't the let him? Which I actually liked the league. It was a running game, like it was USFL. USFL. Oh, that was, was USFL. Like in the '83 season, I remember it started or '84. They were signing Alex. In fact, the guy you met, Steve Young, was one of their big signs uh, for the LA Express. He signed a mega contract. He was smart. It had I think like he's still five million a year. What'd you say? Yeah, what'd you say? Case, Steve Young on the 49ers? What, what'd you say, Kevin? Yeah, he was signed for the LA Express. Wait, wait, wait yeah. Kevin is saying something. Kevin? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just. I was just mentioning, I think, the way he made that contract, he's probably still getting paid. Yeah, they, it's all guaranteed, I think, Young's contract. He was yeah, well, guy. he played for the Niners. He was getting paid by Bolton. Yeah. They weren't even existing. Yeah, he's definitely guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. So, so I wonder, how do they pay him? Uh, well, they uh, still do business. Yeah. They probably have still have a T-shirt business going or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right Mike, well, you got your hand up. I wonder, I wonder... If they ever, when Cattlestick Park was still going on, if they could have rebuilt that park. It was full. And, you know, it was cold. The it weather was, was awful. Hole. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. I agree. I, I agree. You know, the Coliseum is bad, but uh, uh, Candlestick Park, where it was located, uh, uh, just the access uh, this this is such a perfect new park because people can take public transportation. Uh, they walk a few blocks; they're right there. It's it's well, and it's a beautiful the, the, area. The great parks now are the brickyards, yes. which are the are the the classic baseball uh, 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 stadiums that are built for no other function. In yeah. other words, you don't suddenly like out at the Coliseum they play baseball and then when it's football season they change the uh, configuration of the field and now it's football and then if yeah. you want to do a concert out there you know you do a concert out there at a at a great baseball park like uh, I, what's what's Pac Bell called now it's called uh, um, AT&T AT&T Park uh, or or any of the true baseball parks you really can't do much of anything else but play baseball in those things and I like that yeah. Or have a concert, yeah. That's about it. Or have a concert, you know. Do concerts, yeah. Yeah, like it's they dedicated they tied now to doing the uh, pinstripe bowl for uh, for every New Year's or whenever the hell that is. They do a pinstripe bowl and it's a football game, and uh, they have to really go crazy to try to make the football field fit in Yankee Stadium. It looks really bizarre, and it's a horrible seat because of where the way the stadium is configured it's not configured for football so yeah. your seats are so far from the game and then they play soccer there because they have the what is it called the New York uh, FC I can't think of the name of the team but there's a a, a a New York team that plays soccer at Yankee Stadium during the the summer they share it with the Yankees. Mm. And they beat the crap out of the field. You could see it when when there's divots and shit that they've fixed while the Yankees are on the road and stuff. They come back and the you could tell it's been beat to shit. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks bad, and the team doesn't like playing there. But they have no choice right now because there's no funding for them to build a ballpark anywhere. Yeah, and they've tried. Right. Because they don't want to play there, but they have really no choice. Right. Put it in Harlem. What's that? Put it in Harlem. Put put it, uh, put it. In, uh, there, there's no open space there. Where? In Harlem. In Harlem. You yeah. yeah. No, there's no open space. They here. tried to build on the west side of New York City. They wanted to put the Jets Giants ballpark there, and it was fought by the Dolans, who own Madison Square Garden. They didn't want it, and they they fought it. They were successful in keeping uh, the Jets Giants in New Jersey. I'm sorry. And and Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah, he's below the stadium somewhere, in yeah. the concrete. Yeah, that's gone now. 
he is blown up now. They they blew up. They, that's a parking lot now. So what yeah. what do you, you know? You weren't here last night, Rob. I want to get your opinion on this whole thing with with Trump and his idea that he he wants to penalize, uh, take away the licenses of these uh, networks that uh, that broadcast fake news. Uh, and I and I first of all I said last night that you can't take away licenses that they don't have. The networks are not licensed. No, there's no license there. They could take it. They could. No. He could argue that they could lose their O and Os, but but their O and Os only don't are basically entertainment facilities and are not news facilities. And no, they that's only, right. But the they only carry new, the network news. Yeah, but the only network news they do. I mean, can you say that Lester Holt does fake news or that there's any opinion on that show? No, there's no opinion. Only on fake there. news is coming out of the White House. Well. That's Fake news. Yeah, fake news is any news that doesn't fit the agenda. Right. So, and the, the, you know, he's that's just. But but just the notion just that you want to stifle freedom of speech like that. Well, you know, what was so, it? What was I, it? It was a Jefferson or somebody like that who said it would be better to have no country at all than a country without the press. Right. Jefferson didn't listen to any of that fake news. He didn't even listen to the radio. He, he was smarter than that. Yeah, yeah. How do you know that? He, he wasn't even around. <laughs> the town clock. Yeah, you know, I don't hear. I don't hear Trump going after Alex Jones as fake news. Well, he's fake, that guy. Alex. I mean, so and that is that. Know, if you want, crazy. if you want a definition of fake news, Alex, wouldn't you agree? Patrick is in, is the absolute definition of no, fake news. No, because he likes the message. I didn't ask you. I asked Patrick. <laughs> well, terrible. I mean with it message on occasion but I would never ever in a million years send somebody to his website or post something from him as new. I would find another source. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know why he's doing all this, don't you? Why? He's trying to distract us from the fact that he hasn't implemented the Russian sanctions that Congress mandated that he, that he do. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Obama Tim, care. Tim, I love how you squeeze your agenda into another topic. <laughs> well, no, no. It's I, all I, I just love how you how you did that. You know why he did this whole thing with the with the uh, fake well, news and doing away with the licenses is because he wants to distract from his Russia, blah, 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 blah. No, so, he can true. do it a lot of other ways besides that. He signed an executive. Well, I was just reminded today by a news reporter that He's not done one thing to implement them, so. Well, Everybody yeah, forget. so. I mean, he, he hasn't done anything to implement anything anyway. All his stuff are executive orders. He hasn't gotten anything passed through Congress. Yeah. or. Well, he, he, did you see the day he forgot to sign it? Forgot to sign he what? He was showing people out of the room, and then he said, oh, i got to go sign it. <laughs> well, to begin, with, to begin with, I mean, executive orders can always easily be overturned by some kind of a court case. You know, they're, yeah, and they're just intent, they're just intent anyway. They don't carry uh, the weight of law, but he's he's directing how they spend their money in the in the department. So that does have some power, I guess. Yeah, uh, and, and then today he uh, he he he's signed another executive order saying that uh, uh, trying to do away with Obamacare in any way that he can, that uh, that uh, companies can. Um, um, if, if they have group insurance, they can go across state lines to get it. It's going to jack up the premiums. And do you know that the website for enrollment is shut down on Sundays? What is this? Say that again. The, the website for you to enroll in Obamacare or to change plans is mm -hmm. shut down for 11 hours on Sundays. Why is that? Because they know that's when most working people will try to sign up. And they don't want people. He, he's trying to absolutely. He's uh, he's trying. He's sabotaging the whole thing. He's just sabotaging it. Wow. So he's doing. And anybody what with pre-existing, anybody with pre-existing, their their premium is going to skyrocket because of these changes. You know, we'll we'll see about that. Uh, th this is what Forbes and a number of other people have been saying would bring down the cost of insurance is to be able to buy across state lines. So, no isn't it regulate. amazing though? Oh, oh, the, let, let's just see. You know, isn't it isn't amazing just, though, Phil, that every time somebody says that, hey, if we do this, the prices are going to go down, they always seem to go up. 
They always well, seem to go up. There's I can't name a single yeah, thing we did. Oh, let let the let the let the let the, uh, uh, the marketplace dictate the mm-hmm. price, and well, it'll, and prices pain. will go down under competition. Competition? They're only like four insurance companies for Christ's sake, it's and they call they, uh, they, we'll they, see. they they see. You don't I, think I'm, you don't blame it? You don't think they talk to each other? Of course they do. But yeah. I'm eager to see. If what they've uh-huh. been saying, and all suppose of the time, it's suppose it's the opposite, are you going to be still be eager? It's going to be very temporary. If he does it by edict, if he does it by hey, edict, hey. it can't last that long. Hey, this hey, this woman me, here has the, the, the clap, and the if other two want, don't. I think I'll take my chances. You know, hey, Phil. Oh, if yeah. they want to experiment with that stuff, you take a small market like one state or two states, and you do a pilot and you do a demonstration project, you don't throw the whole system out of whack. Tim, like, if you're going to change the way Tim, you install on carpet, wait a minute, Tim. and you decide, you would hey, at least try hey, it out wait, first. Hey, wait, wait. How can you buy across state lines if you only got one or two states that are participating? Well, let them buy, try, try a three or four state area, let them buy across state lines. You don't, when well, you don't make major changes see, in the government without see, a pilot project. It's those regulations that you guys love, and you just keep slapping oh, them buy, on there. You, oh, buy, you can do it, but you can't do it. You buy across the state lines. don't let people, how, let, how lawyers is, go across minute, state lines. How is buying? Companies, there's no regulation how is, state how, wait a minute, Hold on a second. How is buying across state lines going to drive prices down? Because competition. Of, uh, competition? You're not going to tell me that if you go and you're in California and you want to go buy it in Colorado, that the insurance company in Colorado says, sure, I'll sell you the stuff. But, of course, we have to charge you a premium because you're in California. Right. That right. makes absolutely, absolutely. No sense. Health care in California is going to cost way more than it does in Alabama. I pay more. I pay more for uh, what we would call if I if I bought it. I don't need it yet. Supplemental Medicare. I would pay more being in New York than I am if I'm in Colorado. But if I try to go buy it in Colorado, they're going to say, where do you live? And I say, New York. They go, well, we're going to have to charge you a little more. Because you couldn't buy it across state lines. Now, you know. No, but but I'm saying that you you can buy it across state lines, but that doesn't mean they can't charge you a premium because of where you live. Afraid that it's going to be successful? No, I I have I, I'm I'm afraid I'm afraid quite the opposite that it's going to be an absolute failure and it's going to cost the American public a fortune and more than that a lot of people aren't even going to be able to afford insurance. Well, that's right what now, I'm afraid our of. Insurance is going to implode. So why not have a, a are, give it a Why why uh, let, uh, how, no, our insurance? That's not correct, uh, Phil. That is false news. It's fake news. The, the, uh, they needed only to make a couple tweaks, and the market, all the markets where they said they had no insurance companies, all those markets have insurance companies there now. Well, they if, were going to lose all their coverage. <laughs> they have insurance because they want to make money. There's just a money maker. They just want to make, make too much money. Uh, now, what, one question for Phil. If you go across state lines, who regulates the companies that are selling across state lines? Because right now you're regulated by each state insurance company. Department. Well, there should be no regulations. Isn't there enough regulations? Oh, good. Oh, good. How do you know they're following the law? Let the money grabbers uh, go out there and just have a free time of it. They're going to yes. they're going to do right by us, aren't they, Phil? Well, the the, uh, the marketplace uh, will uh, force uh, oh, them. Oh, to yeah. Do. The marketplace never has. Everything has gone up and gone up. Yes, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Tony has his hand up. Tony has his hand up. Tony. Yeah, you know what doesn't make sense about this whole cross state lines, and this may—I don't want to sound like I'm making a joke of it—but think about it like this: say if I was, you were a doctor, Alex, right? Mm-hmm. Why would you want to insure me if I'm from New York and you live in and you're practicing in Georgia and you have insu- you have an insurance company in Georgia? Wouldn't I want you as an insurance company to see one of their doctors in their state? Of course, you've got. It almost sounds like stupid. You got a doctor who's who's on Fifth Avenue. <clears throat> York City. He's got an office there. He's got a practice, and he and he charges X amount of dollars because he's he has see to do business in New York City. I want to insure you, but don't you know? I want to insure you as a as a client. Yeah, my med- so my med- my, me, we'll my, my medical Trump expenses my medical expenses cost more money 
being in New York City than they would be if I lived in Colorado, okay? Uh, just, just because the doctors themselves have to pay higher rents and everything like that. Do you really think that a Colorado insurance company wouldn't charge me more money to buy insurance across state lines because I live in New York? Yeah, they would be stupid the if they didn't. What? When you share the risk in the, in the risk pool, uh, it, it lowers some, it raises others, but, uh, you know, uh, it uh, will help uh, most in general. You're not making a case, Phil. Well, You're not know, making a case. My president just made a case. Hey, let's, let's talk to somebody who, who needs medical care, Patrick. Uh, and I don't? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you, you, you're having a late in life uh, experience here. Patrick has been having an ongoing situation for how many years now, uh, Patrick, has it been? Well, I've been in life for almost 15 years, but it, there's nothing, I mean, really extenuating from it. I, right. A couple I'll, of keystones, and, and that's really been about it. Yeah, but but you have insurance, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what, how do you get your insurance? Do you actually pay for a plan yourself? I have, um, I'm on Medicare right now. Okay, good, good. And how's that going for you? That works out pretty well, doesn't it? It, it does. However, I will say it's not as good as the insurance that I had through my employer. Okay. No. But that was a few years ago. The insurance is, the private insurance has gotten worse in the last several years uh, than, and the coverages have, uh, have been depleted. Uh, in in comparison to what you were able to get a few years ago privately. That's because the Republicans don't want to fix the health care system we have in place. That's because it's broken. They, well, let's fix it. <laughs> no, but well, what's, yeah. wait, wait, let, let, wait, 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 hold on a second. Let's talk about what's broken about the health care system. What's broken about the health care system is the greed, for instance, that is engendered in the insurance companies. Okay? That is a major, major factor. I mean, why is it that the price of a doctor costs so much because the insurance, uh, the insurance, somebody has got their speaker up. Brian. Uh, right. Oh, hold on, let me turn this down. Uh, uh, there we go, now we're better. Uh, 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 the, because, because of greed on the part of the insurance companies, not only in the insurance they sell us, but also in the insurance that they sell to the doctors who have to be insured for their practices. Their insurance has gone up. These insurance companies have been allowed to go rampant. And these are the very people you now want to have uh, go across state so, lines to go so see. So let's say you get somebody uh, that's paying $6,000 or 10000 or 13000 a year uh, to insure themselves and their family. But they have a six or uh, ten or thirteen thousand dollar deductible, they're going to pay twenty five, twenty six thousand dollars a year out of pocket before they get benefit one. Well, this maybe, is maybe, you, maybe if we had sure. maybe if we had uh, if, if we had single payer in this country, they wouldn't have to pay anything. All right, and then when you do pay that money. Uh, they're in, the, the, Somebody the, does. You know, look, if, nothing's if, free. if you buy, yes, nothing's free except for the insurance companies. Because i got to tell you, I'm insured secondarily by Oxford. Mm -hmm. I have yet to, this year, get a penny out of them. A penny. One penny. Mm -hmm. I think I did for dental because that's a separate kind of policy. But for the my basic plan, I have yet to. To, I've had to do nothing but put out money, and I've got nothing from Oxford. Yes, uh, yes, uh, Rob. I do about that because uh, this is something that I'm starting to think about. Why is what would happen if you would say, "Fuck it, I'm not going to have a secondary." What do you really lose out then? Twenty percent. Twenty percent. So is it worth it? Is it worth it? Uh, right now, it's now, right now, it's worth it for me because I'm paying that twenty percent every time Oxford says, "Oh, you haven't met your your minimum in in network of, of like a thousand dollars." So I I'm paying out that money anyway. So is I'm, it worth? The only reason gamble. I'm taking it is it's free because it comes from the the job that Marjorie has. Okay, <laughs> but so, if that weren't the case, I would probably we would probably be paying. About four hundred bucks a month for supplemental, 
uh, and we would be covered a lot better than that for you that sure experiment. That much? My mom, I know she's in Florida. Uh, we're, in Ca- <laughs> we're in New York, you forget. Yeah. The rates are higher in New York, okay? Yeah. Uh, Marjorie has been looking at having her company pay for our Medicare and pay for our, uh, uh, our supplemental. Uh, and uh, we're looking for a way of doing that. And uh, the total cost, I think, per month that they would have to put out for our supplemental would be uh, something like $500 a month. Okay. So what do they pay for the Oxford? They're, oh, they're paying thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars $1,400 a month for us. And they, they're still only paying off the 20% because it's our supplemental. It's not our major medical. Our major medical is Medicare. So, so you're are, so Alex, uh, you're on. You got Medicare, and then Marjorie's company backs up your other twenty percent. Because I'm getting ready to do that. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm, what I'm saying is because it here's how they're get how, how I think her company is getting ripped off, and where I think the the uh, uh, Oxford is so terrible. They should say, oh, you're on Medicare. So because you only have like four people under this, Medicare becomes your, your primary and we become your secondary, well, then we're not going to charge the company as much for the insurance because we're only going to have to pay out 20% of the total price. But no, they don't do that. They're charging her company full board like she was. that was our primary. Right. Maybe are, you need- both, are you both in that same situation? Yes. Okay. Because that, that's I, I got sent my Medicare card just last month and I've talk to social security about it and it's because i'm on disability that i got it Mm -hmm. but i'm trying to figure out now by the end of the year whether i stay on her insurance and just forget medicare for a little while Mm -hmm. or do medicare and then have the 20 percent you know backed up on my wife's insurance do you have kaiser down by you uh no Oh, because uh, the Kaiser people talked to me and said that uh, if I were on Medicare that and I go through Kaiser, it'd be $99 a month. Yeah, my mother-in-law has that. But she's yeah. up in Santa Clara, so. Well, as, I say, as I say, you know, so we're, we're, we're looking to do something different where, uh, <clears throat> the, the, you know, there are a whole bunch of ways this could be handled where our are uh, to take care of that 20 percent we have a certain amount and then also to take care of prescription drug is, yeah, is another part, another yeah. another part uh and and but the problem is is that it's money they're going to have to reimburse us for paying out and that means that it has to be recorded as income which means we're going to pay taxes on that money it's it's oh, it's a me. nightmare okay it's a nightmare um uh, uh, yeah, they, they still have don't know what the hell I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. uh, I forgot what the number is. It's uh, but all I'm it's, saying uh, is, with all we had just been saying, what we just been saying about the insurance companies, you really think they're going to do anything that benefits you? I mean, they. I I talked to them the other day about one. I was getting a, a drug called Zedia. Zedia simply takes the cholesterol lowering drug and enhances it by about twenty percent. Uh, that's because I had high numbers, and I think the reason I had high numbers is I forgot to take my pills that month because I suddenly found I had an extra bottle of them. Uh, but in any event, I started taking the Zetia. What the hell? Why not? Lower what I've already had, 20%. And it was 10 bucks a month. And then all of a sudden, they said, oh, I'm sorry, but this is now you have to get prior authorization for this drug. And so I had my doctor get prior authorization saying he really needs this. Okay, fine. You've got prior authorization. The drug is now $35 a month. Went from 10 to 35. Then last month I looked at this drug and all of a sudden they were gonna charge me that month $265. And I called up Oxford and I said, what's this about? They say, oh, well, because you're trying to buy the generic, okay? Uh, because you're trying to buy the generic, uh, we're charging you a, a, whatever they call it, a, a it's not a bonus. We're charging you a penalty for really? buying the generic. So, the other, here, oh. so I said, so how many months is that going to be like that? They said, oh, it'll always be $265 a month. I said, for a pill that only adds to something I'm already taking? I said, well, you can use the generic. And I said, how much is the generic? And they said, oh, that's $75 a month. It turns out now it's actually uh, 60 But they said $75 a month. 
And mm. uh, I've gone from 10 to 35 to $60 a month. And all because I wanted the Zetia, okay? You know, I mean, it's just, it was insane. And this is your lovely, wonderful insurance company. You know, that the guys who are watching out for you and want to take care of you? No, they don't. I know they don't. That's why Trump is going to make them compete. And that, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who are they competing with? Who are they competing with? Uh, when they compete across state lines, no, no, other people no, no, want no, that no, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Each state has the same insurance companies. There are only about, that I can name, four insurance companies in existence. Yeah. And they all talk to each other, and they all price fix, and they all make sure that they're not <clears throat> screwing the other one. So don't say that suddenly, what competition? If there were like 10 or 20 insurance companies and new guys who could jump into it, maybe you'd be right. But that isn't That's the case. There is, no, co there is, no, there is no competition. It. There is no competition. Well, I'm right. trying to figure out the state line thing. Come because on. My, my insurance is Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, but I'm in California. Really? Well, that's because you're insured under your wife, and her company is probably in Michigan. Right, it is. Right. And so, therefore, as an employee yeah. of that company... Okay, gotcha. Let me ask you this, Phil. And we excluding, send all our HM, to the excluding HMOs, which don't count here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Name me four insurance companies. Okay. Um, and now, this is health insurance, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Optima... Um, no, Optima, Optima's prescription. Uh, wait, wait a minute, my thing's freezing. Yeah. Is an Anthem Blue it's, Cross? I'm freezing up. Well, yeah. no, all the Blue Crosses <laughs> are all part of Blue Cross, okay? So they do have different, it's like Oxford is really um, a United Health. It's Oxford United. Okay, okay that's so the third one, no, United. No, and it, uh, and uh, let's see. You're having a uh, hard time, Phil. Uh, well, yeah, because I have been out of that market for 20-something years. Did you say Aetna? Uh, dealing with Kaiser. Did you say Aetna? Yes, I said Kaiser. Okay, so, so far you've only Kaiser. named three. All right. Kaiser. <laughs> no, you That's can't name Kaiser. Thing. Kaiser's oh, an it's HMO. Kaiser. It's an HMO. Uh, uh, Is that 25? Well, you know, I haven't shopped for uh, for insurance, but I'm sure there are more. There, I'll, I'll look it up. Oh, and by the way, well, this is 2014, so there were 25 in 2014. You know, if you had Bob's insurance and you could buy that one because they had the lower prices, you know. But, well, you know. You can buy Bob's if you buy well, a Listen, you know, price. you only got uh, maybe four insurance companies because you, you, you have as many. You, you, actually, you have four of everything. You have like four telephone carriers, you know. You have four of most businesses. The, the idea that competition exists any longer is, is a myth, okay? That's why uh, President Trump's supposed to restore that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to see a lot of insurance companies come into existence. Up plans. Hey, 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 Alex? Yes, Tim. Did you watch The Last Designated Survivor? Yes. Did you Jeez. see he actually negotiated... And um, knew how to negotiate with the pharmaceutical, didn't he? Um, yeah, but that's of course, spoiler well, alert here. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, okay. Well, well I won't it, tell you. I won't say any more. But I'm, I, does anybody know the way to San Jose or the alternate reality where Kiefer Sutherland is the president and mm. Trump plays one on TV? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea. But if you go from A to Z, it's AARP, Aetna, American. AARP Family. is United. United, okay. yeah. Mara Group, Anthem, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield Association. No, no, anytime, you, anytime, those are all the same. Those, these are these are just subsets Sigma. of the all. Sigma, I that one I'll give you. Sigma, uh, Coventry Sigma. Health, Emblem Health, Fortis, Golden Rule, uh, Group Health, yeah. uh, Health Net, Health Markets, Health Partners, uh, High Mark, Horace Mann Educators, uh, Humana. Um, Independence, Blue Cross, uh, Kaleida most, most Health. That's enough for losing viewers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can't see us anyway. Uh, Shelter Health, State Farm. All right, uh, all, right Defense, all right. United Health, Unitrend. State, wait a minute. Uh, State Farm has a medical insurance? I don't think so. I think you're reading me a list of insurance companies. Health insurance, major medical 
Sure. Yeah, they pay you thirty dollars a day while you're in the hospital. Uh, and uh, <laughs> let's see. Well, well, they'll, they'll, no, they'll only they'll only uh, insure you if you have a dent. Yeah, no. Right. no. <laughs> Obviously, in some states, they have health insurance. Uh, so if I have a dent, do I go to a dentist? I don't know. Yeah, all I'm saying is is that I I just don't think that uh, going across state lines is going to improve. Even if you if you had people competing, they're not going to give you cheaper insurance because you're buying it in Colorado. Yes, you know, uh, uh, Brian wants to say something. That's the list. Yeah, I'll just be real quick with the, with my response. I don't think it'll. I, I I'm inclined to agree with you up to a point, Alex. Assuming, of course, uh, I'm not misreading what you're or misinterpreting what you're saying. Uh, by and large, it won't do much. But I do think having insurance companies compete across state lines is a step in a in a right direction. Perhaps but, but in they the have to right develop, direction. A, they have to develop provider networks in each state. That would be prohibitively expensive. The most most uh, insurance true. want you to go to a PPO or in network doctor. How are they going to develop networks? In fifty-two different states, that would it's just the same. It's the same amount of people in the states uh, that are going to no, need. No, but they the get services. a smaller piece of the market if they're going across state lines. They, they do it within one state. They're going to get a decent part share of the market. Yeah, there are a lot of questions like in, in that. Uh, hold on, <laughs> Phil. Let other people talk here. Uh, 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 the, 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 it's a good question that Tim brings up about this question of in network, out of network. I mean, are you going to be in network? You're going to be out of network if you go to another state. Well, yeah, that man, that man's been in the sausage factory. He knows how he knows how the sausage is. Hey, I, I, I have Blue Cross of Michigan also. I don't doubt what Tim is saying. Yeah, I, I have Blue Cross of Michigan also, but it's a federal plan because I was a federal employee, and I'm supposed to have the same plan in every state. But Michigan does not uh, give me credit for durable medical toward my my out of pocket. So I have to order my CPAP supplies from Minnesota because that Blue Cross gives me credit and I can get the stuff for free. It doesn't make any sense. But Blue, Blue Cross of Michigan is a terrible company. <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Well, <laughs> good to know. They're, Thanks, they're, look, that, you know, all I'm saying is, is that I'm... If you have any problems, I've won, I uh, won two lawsuits against them. So if you have I'm, any problems, si I'm, you know. I'm sitting here. I will. I'm sitting here. Uh, I'm getting the new CPAP. Well, uh, I, I'm, I'm sitting here... Uh, uh, with my supplemental being Oxford, and as I say, I have yet to see a penny. Yet to see a penny. Right. Not a dollar, not a sue, not a cent, not a whatever. Not a thank you, not a fuck you, it, not an eat it, my ass, not, not a not, eat your no, ass. No rim job, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Not even a courtesy list. Yes, yes Patrick, to... Patrick, Patrick. Yeah, I mean, and that, that's the thing with me, uh, hospital stay. Uh, in May, for my kidneys down, I'm I don't have a secondary because I can't afford the secondary. It's cheaper for me to pay the twenty percent than to pay for a secondary. Now, how much did your twenty percent come to for being in the hospital? Uh, it came. I'm just about done now, and it was right around mm, twenty five hundred bucks. Mm. Still. And I mean, if you figure secondary would cost me even two or three hundred dollars a month, I'm better off paying for that twenty percent than to pay for uh, secondary. Well, this is why. Look, you know, this is why I just believe that we should have, uh, you know, um, single payer, uh, single payer Medicare for all. I mean, it, 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 uh, ensuring every American the ability to go to a doctor and to have the checkups they need and so on uh, would would greatly enhance and better this country and I think the fact that there are, are a whole there's a whole industry based on you being sick is sick in and of itself yes Hail Satan yes uh, 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 listen to this I have an yeah. idea ready Trump always says he wants to fix the tax plan and all this Remember you said Alex, you'd like that we like you'd like to have us have like the government health plan. Too bad they couldn't give you like when you when you uh, fill out your four hundred one k or your tax work for your job. Too bad they couldn't have a checkbox to say I would like to pay into out of my check 
the government health care plan. No, Give but, an option to the, to the but, consumer. But no, but you already you already do that at your job. You know, there was a time when you work went to work for a company and they went, oh, and we have a health plan. And that was the last time you asked the question about the health plan. You had you were covered for your health. And they didn't take right. it out. They didn't take it out of your uh, of, of wages or anything. They just did it. Hey, it's our it's our gift to you for working for our company. Now there are very few companies that you don't pay hundred, hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars a month to get on their insurance plan. Yeah, okay. like say they said it would cost me twenty dollars a month a week to whatever. I'm just going to hold it out twenty five dollars a week out of out of my check. To, so I can get into the government health plan, which might be better than mine. Phil, would you be against that if my taxes were up to me to check that off? No. Okay. That's so then what, he's for right. then he's for Medicare. No, that, now. That's what Medicare is. Uh, you know, you 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 reach a certain age and you qualify to pay no, for. No, but say, say we could do. Yeah, it unfortunately, most people don't. Get, and the most in as a worker all your yeah. life. That the you trouble work. is, a lot of people don't get it before they die. Uh, yes, Patrick. That's another thing. When I was working at my former employers, uh, when I started there, it was 90-10 mm -hmm. uh, coverage. It went to 80-20 probably about three years in. <laughs> um, a couple years later, I, I got paralyzed. So it was still 80-20. And then it was like two or three years after I got paralyzed, the rates were going up at almost... 30% every year for every other year. However, they were able to negotiate it. It was, it was unbelievable where the rates were going. Um, and, the, and the coverage wasn't really any better. Hey, you know, you, you made a mistake. You should have got paralyzed when the rates were cheaper. You know? Yeah, no, I, <laughs> yeah. That was my mistake. I admit that. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I just I just think that, uh, uh, that you know, that, that, that why we even argue about this? This is the only country I know of, industrialized nation, where this 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 is even a problem. It's like the only country where the government where where the, the, where there's a political party that can make people believe that health care for everybody is a bad thing. Y yeah. You know what I think it is too, Alex. You can think it's crazy for me to think this, but I, I told this to my brother once. I actually think they don't want us to have medic uh, give us free universal health care because I really think that it keeps all the workers in line. The big business, I don't think they really mind giving you shit insurance because they know that if you had universal health care, that's a way to keep us in check. Like, listen, you need this job because if you don't have it, you don't have any health insurance. Yeah. So you'll go to work every day just because I need that health care. I'm not saying Phil would think. Oh, I know, I know people. I, Nobody I, would want. Hey, listen, would I know people. There were a couple of people when I was at Sirius XM that I got full time jobs uh, because uh, they would work my show. I think uh, Christina was a good example of that. I got her a full time job there, and the the one thing she thanked me for was, "Well, thank goodness, now I have health insurance." It's a goal. Oh, God. You know, the goal was not so much to get the better job. Uh, but to be full time so that you could get the health insurance. Yes, Patrick. See, that's a problem, I think. It yeah. keeps hey, you Alex? dangling. Wait a minute. Pat Patrick had his hand up, and then you, Tim. No, go ahead. That's no, fine. I was going to say two things. One, uh, I, I meant to add on after Phil said, go for the cheap insurance. I should have gotten paralyzed sooner. And <laughs> right, because it did cost me out of pocket twelve grand. Twelve grand. God damn. And then um, the other thing is, Tony, when you say free universal health care, it isn't free. You're going to pay for it. Yeah. Me so, taxes. So you know that. It's total of 1%. Your taxes. Your ass is paying for it. Well, I mean, it, it's kind of like uh, Medicare well, isn't fair, fair share. I, I get a check every month but from Medicare, but it's not free. I've always paid, excuse me, Social Security, but that's not free because I've been paying for it all my life. What gets but, me, what gets But me. it's a misnomer when people assume universal health care is free, that it just appeared. I mean, that's one yeah. of the problems I have with the way. I'll give you that. With the way the Democrats, they, they formulate it. It's as if you have nothing to worry about with it, when in fact you are paying for it. Well, you want to know, you want, you, yeah. you want to know what's even sicker? 
is mm -hmm. the fact that, uh, uh, for, for instance, you want Medicare? That's fine. I'm paying for it. It comes out of my Social Security. About $110 a month or something for Medicare so that I can get Medicare is taken out of my Social Security. You want to know That's something else? Coverage. My Social Security is taxable. So they tax you from it's the check. It's taxable. They're taxing me on money that I was taxed. That's fine. Just running blind. No, you and and on, yet, yet uh, I'll tell you something else. I'll tell, no, I'll tell you. You were taxed on part of it. You know, you're, not, you're taxed I, I, on your benefit. You were. I, I, you're not taxed on the on the tax you, that you paid in. You know, why are they hitting the points? The yeah, point. You don't get to get that. You don't deduct Social Security tax. Uh, wait a minute. On your it comes off. Here's the best part. Every year, every every year, I get, wait, hold on a second. Every year, every year, I get a good size check from the state of New York and New York City for my tax rebate. You want to know the reason why? Because I can deduct Social Security. I can deduct uh, all kinds of different things that the government won't let me. They won't let me take out my Social Security as an expense or my Medicare as an expense. Reagan changed that in 83. Yeah. That wonderful Ronald Reagan. Fuck. Oh, God. Uh, Ronnie, yeah, yeah. Ronnie the union uh, buster. I, right? I, yeah. I've got two more reasons, Alec. Wait a minute. Alec. Hold on a second. And then Brian. Oh. Yes. The yes. Right. yes. 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 Go ahead, Tim. Tim? My phone's down. I've got to switch phones. Uh, it's a national security risk because if we have a major outbreak of infections like H1N1 or whatever, so many people, if people have health insurance, they'll be able to get treated easily and know where to go. So it's a national security risk. Number two, today, health care is a jobs program. The, the money going to, we put into the health care creates jobs all over the country in local communities. Okay. And if they cut back on Medicaid yeah. and Obamacare, which he's cutting back on the subsidies, that means some of these small clinics, some of the small hospitals, and a lot of pe more, more and more people will be out of work. So okay, jobs Brian. Out. Brian. All right, uh, dovetailing also the uh, Tony had said a, 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 a earlier, um, it's not just uh, companies that are using uh, healthcare coverage as uh, uh, red meat to keep their uh, little drones in line. It's also, uh, I've heard argued, and I can see that uh, a lot of unions and trade organizations and associations don't want universal health care because that's one of the uh, major uh, uh, anchors of what uh, makes them appealing to uh, to the people who, part who, who work in those union shops and, you know, pay their union dues. And the they government does not want you to live long enough to collect your benefits uh, because, you know, if they if you get sick and you uh, don't make it to the proper age or you don't get, uh, you know, uh, uh, benefits because you're not employed or something, then, uh, you know, you die and uh, the money is in the Cool. Yeah, well, and, you know, you know I, I think that all the money that you all the money that you over the, uh, all, 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 <laughs> all the money that you made all those years out of it paid into Social Security. If you die before sixty five and you can't collect Social Security, I think the government should have to give all that money to your uh, to your your successors. Because it's money they've been collecting all these years, you know. And they do give it, it, well, wait, wait a minute, Rob. What did you say, Rob? And they do give it to your wife. Like if, when I die, my wife is young. When I die, my wife is going to get a portion of my Social Security for the rest of her life. Will she or, get or it? Disabled children. When, you know, when she, does she have to wait till she turns sixty-two to she start? Till she turns sixty-two, correct? Yeah. yeah. A widow can file at 60, oh. or a disabled widow can file at age 50. Ah, well, there you go. I'll shoot yeah. her in the leg. Take her leg before you die. <laughs> everybody needs to know Social Security is not an annuity. It's an insurance. It's an insurance. So it's basically term insurance insuring you against retirement, disability, or by dying at a young age, you pay young families can get a couple million dollars. If their if their husband dies at See, a you young get, age, you, it, it, one of the other but, reasons should be because you're unemployable at fifty five. Rob, you should tell your wife well, that uh, she uh, acts uh, like uh, a real bitch. That's true, Alex. Instead of using the nine millimeter or a piece shooter, you're going to shoot her in the leg with a twelve gauge. If you have a disability. <laughs> My father died. He was 44, 
and I was 17 and my sister was 13. And she and I, while uh, we were in school and uh, college, uh, got some death survivor benefits uh, at, at that point and also some survivor benefits from uh, the VA. Uh, I don't think my mother got anything. Because she that, was that was socialism, though, Phil. You guys actually took the money. That's socialism. Well, hey, you so know, back then he grew up later. You know, that was a legitimate deal where you got uh, somebody that died in the prime of their life, and uh, you know, left young kids, and uh, you know, and that's something that's that's good. Uh, but my father paid in. He, he's he'd been working right, since but, eight but, years old. Right. No, it's it's great coverage. Social Security's great coverage, but it has to be mandatory. The only reason it works is it's mandatory. That's the one reason it makes it work. Because most people would not go out and buy disability insurance at a young age. Then they die, and then their family would basically be, be poor the rest of their lives until the wife gets a job. So they think. Because they'd they have die, to, and they just get buried right. in like a backyard or something. It's kept uh, millions of families out of poverty having the disability and the, uh, the, uh, the uh, survivor coverage at young age. And people don't realize that they're paying for that at the same time. They, they save money for retirement, so. It's like, it's a good deal. you, you do have to beat the odds, though. It's like, it's, it's like term insurance. you got to beat the odds. But at least you had the coverage, so if something okay. did happen, you would have been covered. Let me, in the, in, let me in, the last, in, the, in the last 10 minutes of this show bring up the name that is the most used name in the news today, Weinstein. Weinstein. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's Harvey back home, Weinstein. Isn't he? What? Is is he back home? I think TMZ interviewed him in front of his house. No, he was leaving for the airport to go oh. to wherever he is. He's in like oh, New Mexico, sex or someplace, like, some sex. He's going place. to get help. Yeah, yeah, right. They got uh, hookers. Did did you, thank you. They suspended the Twitter account for Rose McGowan, one of the victims. I mean, yes, but you know, they they. Here's the reason they suspended her account. Do you know the reason know, why, Rosie Tim? Was, Do you know why? No, no, that wasn't the reason, Tim. No. The reason was oh, okay, in one of her tweets because it seems she's like a, she tweets like a like a Trump. Uh, she as, as, to get back at somebody listed their phone number, and that's a no no in oh, Twitter. Okay. All right. Okay, so they suspended her for 12 hours, and she promised to take that down, and she took it down, and then they put her back up. It had nothing to do with her rants okay. against Weinstein. I read some of the early tweets from some people, so I, I was wrong. Yeah, the reason was because she, me was and, you know, she mentioned a phone number, and no, this was not the fake news, Phil. This it was, was the Russians. And by the way, Phil, no, just last night right. you were saying, oh, the New York Times, you know, they didn't, they sat on this story. And I told you, that, well, they were the ones that finally broke it. And you said, no, it was some magazine <laughs> somewhere. And it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it I was the it was, New York uh, Times. And what yeah. you're thinking of is Ronan Farrow, who was in New York, Ma uh, New York Magazine. And that uh, came out about five or six days after the Times broke the story. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, because I thought New York Magazine... By the way, uh, many of you can have a drink off just twice off the last uh, couple of minutes here. Uh, uh, but no, um, the, the, the thing is with... The thing that gets me about all of this is the hypocrisy about Weinstein. I mean, this is... Everybody says, everybody knew about this. Everybody knew he was yeah, a horn Everybody knew. Everybody knew, right? They're all and they're all so. jumping into the fray to try and say, this is horrible. You know, it's kind of like, it reminds me of the movie Casablanca in which Captain Renault says, gambling in Casablanca? You know, um, uh, and then somebody comes up to him and says, uh, here are your winnings, sir. You know, uh, 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 that it reminds me of that. You know, uh, Harvey Weinstein did that. You know, for did you hear Smith, about the Amazon guy? Well, wait a minute. Oh, Hold on a second. That. For Meryl Meryl Streep, as I said last night, to just say how terrible it was and act like I never knew. I think she should get an Academy Award for that. I think that was the best performance of the year because it's an outright lie. There is no way that Meryl Streep didn't know and that Judy Dench didn't know. And that every, hell, there were people who are don't, aren't even in Hollywood like my friend Shecky who knew 
Okay? <laughs> because it, 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 it was one of the worst kept secrets. It was one of the worst kept This is crazy. What did what, what, you say, Mike? What did you say? <laughs> it's the worst kept, se- uh, worst kept secret in Hollywood. Yeah. Am I right? Right. Right. And now Ben Affleck. And everybody in Hollywood. And I just don't know why all these janitors. people feel they have to jump up and say, "Oh well, I think it's terrible too." I mean, why does George Clooney have to? I mean, he never had to give and Harvey a blowjob for crying out loud, you know? Summer. Hey, uh, you know, uh, now all of a sudden, uh, in other areas, uh, it, this may be a good thing too, because uh, in uh, at, at Amazon, uh, a, a high-level guy, what's his name, Price, uh, they just suspended him. Uh, for sexual assault or sexual um, uh, harassment. Yeah, but companies uh, companies do that all the time if they're a decent company. But the Weinstein Weinstein you company. Say Amazon is decent though. I beg to differ. What, what, on the Amazon. surface, they're pretty, but like a rock, when you lift the rock over in your backyard, you see all the uh, centipedes. What do you think That's because they the 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 sell the organic food. That, that, you know, right, all the set, crap underneath the rock. Yeah, exactly. Well, you hey, know. Alex, you think it's like you said the brother wanted the house to then? Oh, I think the, the brother uh, was the one who leaked the story to the Times. He's the one who gave me the information. Yeah, I'm sure of that. I have no doubt about it. Most people are saying that openly. That you know, I see other worst kept secret in Hollywood is that his brother did an Abel Cain and Abel deal on him. How you did know? his brother do anything if it was first released in 2004? No, that he he just went with facts and stuff like that. I think the reason the Times didn't report it initially wasn't because they were afraid of Harvey Weinstein, but they were afraid of his lawyers, and they wanted yeah. to make sure they had all their ducks in a row before they reported the story. This time, people came to them with credible uh, uh, information that made them do the story. Okay, yeah. and and I'm sure this is a story that a lot of people went to do. Uh, MSNBC didn't let Ronan Farrow report it because the early information that he had, they didn't feel was sufficient to make it a creditable story. That finally, when he did sell his article to New York Magazine, he had done more research and gotten and nailed a lot of it down. But a lot of times, these newspaper, these news outfits are very shy to go ahead and do something against somebody as powerful as Weinstein unless they've got all the information nailed down. That they could they could go into a court of law and say, look, I hold up the paper. Or that Weinstein wouldn't even want to go to the court because he wouldn't want the world to know this had been going on. So, you know. But, you know, give, give them their credit. The New York Times finally did do it. So it wasn't that they weren't doing it because they wanted to keep Weinstein happy. You know. Maybe. But I just I just find it hypocritical. Uh, I find Rose McGowan is kind of using it uh, in a way uh, because, I mean, now she's she's tweeting about all manner of things and people she hates and how Hollywood's terrible and whatever. Uh, and, hey, she's the one who got a couple of contracts. Other people never get any, you know. What is, uh, what's going to happen to Ben Affleck? Is there he's, any... Uh, he's in the New Justice League movie. Even though I think he's a sheet of bad he says he grabbed her by the pussy, or uh, oh, no, he reached it, grabbed her to the breast. Yeah. Pussy, it's just a matter of location. Yeah. I think well, no, I agree with, uh, uh, with uh, Sarah Silverman, who on her latest special said, well, you know, you, 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 you can, uh, hands are terrible because you can stick a finger up somebody's ass, but you can't shove a breast up there. Yeah. So, you know, what's, what's, Maybe. what's worse? <laughs> A finger or a breast? Yeah. Yeah. Well, depends on the breast. <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, anyway, hey, I'm going to start. Depends on what the ass is into, too. I'm going to start. <laughs> uh, well, like a, we'll, like leave, being we'll, being we'll, leave, we'll leave that up to you. Uh, Brian. Like there goes our little uh, our little theme song. Uh, I can we can still talk for a little bit here, but talk uh, about getting fingers. <laughs> Huh? That Weinstein thing is interesting, though. I never knew he was that powerful. Oh, he, oh, he was very powerful. I mean, you know, uh, there was a time when he could make or break you in Hollywood. Uh, in recent years, no. He is, you know, he... he, he hmm? You'll never work again in this he's, town. He's, make a almost, he's, he's almost like the, uh, the big uh, producers back in the 30s and 40s. Am I correct, Alex? Uh, kind of. Yeah, they all did it. 
you know, they Back all in the day, it. I guess he said to the women, okay, in order, you will be blackballed if you lead me with blue balls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, we always, they, they always talked about, they always talked about the Hollywood casting couch, you know. Hey, hey you know. That could be the tagline for the autobiographical movie. Yeah. The talkies will never work. You know, they need music and... You don't see this happening on Broadway. ...across the screen. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, uh, uh, all of you, none of you will ever work in this town again. Uh, because I'm the most powerful man in show business and people don't know it. Tim, the most powerful man on Gabnet. Tim, thank you so much uh, for joining us tonight. Mike, same thing to you. Kevin, nice, nice uh, participation tonight. Rob, it's great to hear your voice again on Gabnet. Uh, mm -hmm. Phil Meyer, thank you. Patrick, me boy, thank you. And Brian, thank you. Uh, wave goodbye because this is the last time I'm going to be here and, uh, be this week because I'm not going to be here tomorrow. We'll be back again, however, uh, on, uh, on Tuesday. So wave goodbye, everybody. There we go. There's our citizen panel. Let me see here. Let me get my picture up here. Okay. All right. And we weren't frozen tonight at any point. Um, sometimes my picture gets frozen and I feel like bird's eye. Thank you very much, folks. Uh, let me just turn a few things off here. And uh, let me uh, turn you off by saying that this has been The Ramble. And it will be back again on Tuesday night, tomorrow night. Uh, Jack uh, Bishop will be here along with Amy Manuel to do the show. Maybe they're going to do one of the three-hour uh, shows. I think so. Uh, but in any event, they're up next with their show called The Intersection. I'll see you again on Tuesday. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, mm -hmm, you know what to do. Tell her I love her, okay? <laughs> <laughs>